Hey guys, um, so I know that a bunch of you guys are probably going into college for your first year or switching schools or whatever um, in the fall and I know how scary that can be. Um, my first year of college was actually last year and I'm going into my second year um, and I just know how tough it can be, that whole transition, um, especially if you move towns or anything. Um, so I'm going to give you guys a couple really pieces of advice that I wish I got before my first day. Um, and that's kind of just a few things, um, whether it's interacting with people, teachers, whatever, um, that I just wish that people would have sat me down and been like, Chantelle, this is the way it goes. This is what you should do. Yeah. Um, so the first one is, you're going to hear it like a million times from a thousand different people, but be yourself. Especially if you move to somewhere different, being yourself really allows you to meet people at your school that are the kind of friends that you want to have. Um that will most likely be compatible to who you are. So that's my my biggest pieces of advice. Um, the next advice is try your best, especially in the first little bit of school, to impress your, impress your teachers. Um, if you impress them at the beginning, not that they're going to mark easier, but it just if you have questions later on in the semester, they're not going to be like, um, who are you? They're going to actually know who you are and they're most likely going to help you out a little bit more or be more lenient if you need help with an assignment or anything like that. Um, one piece of advice I have before the first week of school is to get your book list and actually look online. You can rent books or buy them at a much cheaper price in the bookstores. The bookstores have them at extreme prices um, and books when they're individually like say $300 a piece and you can get them for 50 online. That is huge, especially if you're paying for your own schooling. Um, so I definitely suggest that. Um, the next piece of advice I wish I would have taken part of is checking out all the clubs and stuff like that. Just seeing what's going on around in your school. Whether or not you're actually interested in any of them, um, just going and looking at what student council has or the different clubs or the different events around school, at least for a little bit, um, before you find your like little click. Um, just kind of just checking everything out. You never know, you can find like your best friend or something at one of those meetings. The next advice I have um, is to not be shy. This is really hard for a lot of people, but breaking out of your shell is a huge part of transitioning into the next step in your life. And you don't have to fully go from like super shy to so outgoing, um, but just kind of having enough confidence to walk up to someone and be like, hey, my name is blah, blah, blah. And just making a friend that way. Um, you don't have to do it to every person in the hallway. Like, Hey, my name is Chantel. Hey, what's your name? I'm Chantel. What's your name? My name's Chantel. Like, that would just be a little bit awkward. But just that, like, once in a while, two people, if you think that you guys might be compatible as friends, um, or it's like a friend of a friend introducing yourself, who knows what could happen after that. Networking is key. Um, but other than that, yeah, the main thing is being yourself. Don't try too hard to fit in. You'll find people that fit you and know who you are in the end and want to be your friends for be for who you are not who you're trying to be that's my main advice also trying just really hard on assignments don't skip classes you're paying or your parents or whoever's paying for your schooling is paying an extreme amount like schooling is so expensive for you to be there learning and if you're just gonna blow off classes and fail the classes you're either, you're not only cheating yourself, where you'll have to stay in school longer, but you're also cheating if you're paying for the school or whoever's paying for it. That's their money gone if you fail a course. Like, there's no sense in that. I don't know. Um, so yeah, that's just kind of making sure you take care of yourself, making sure you have supplies. Yeah. This is kind of more of like a, it doesn't really have much point of the video, but I just wanted to give you guys some of the pieces of advice uh, because I don't know about you but school starts for me in about three weeks um, that I wish I would have got before my first week in college. Um, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys have an awesome tastic day that's as awesome as you are and I'll talk to you later. Bye! In case you guys are wondering, these pictures up here are links to some awesome videos that I've done. So make sure to check them out if you would like to. Um, also down below in the description bar, you can check out all of my links to all my other social media sites like Keek, Blog, Instagram, Twitter, 
blah 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 lots and lots more uh, so make sure to check those out I hope you enjoyed this video not that there was much point to it and I'll talk to you guys later Bye.